This is the first of three videos that will provide details for how to create, send, and manage uh, mass emails uh, to your contact list in Masterpiece Manager version 11. As many of you know, Masterpiece uh, provides a mass email marketing tool that can replace paid for services like Constant Contact, MailChimp, or others. Okay. Um, so let's jump into this. This first uh, uh, video will focus on how to create and manage the contact list that you're going to send out. So when we cl click on contact list, we're going to get a list of those contact lists that have already been created. Okay. If we want to create a new contact list, we simply click add on the action bar and it will open up form to begin the process. Let's give this um, let's contact list a name. We're going to call this test list. So if I click on that, Okay, we're going to uh, get a form that looks an awful lot like our contact mailing list uh, report in Masterpiece. Here we can set all kinds of attributes like when the contact was added or modified in our system, where are they located by country, state, or city, how much they've spent with us, and maybe their buying preferences like artists, vendors, subject category, medium, attributes, or cost codes. But in this case, we want a simple, uh, a, a simple parameter that says all of the customers that have spent greater than or equal to $500. Now we would simply search for everybody that matches that criteria from our database and look we get a list below that is going to detail everybody that matches that criteria. If I wanted to select all of those contacts I would just hit the checkbox next to the, to the column headers okay and that will select everybody that's going to be part of that list. If I just wanted to select a few I could go through and pick them out. I could pick, pick Todd, I could pick Kevin and so forth. But in this case I want to select everybody. Now I hit add contacts and that's going to post all of those contacts to the list. Now if there were any of these that I didn't want to be part of the list for any number of reasons I could select them now to delete them uh, permanently from this list. For example I might want Bob or Ma and Mary to not be part of the list. I would hit delete, they're gone, okay, and everybody else is now part of this list. Okay, I would then hit save and those contacts are now part of this new mailing list um, that I have called test list. Okay, if I ever wanted to edit that I could open up the list again you'll see all of the contacts down here I can go through the list delete those if there, if there are some that I want to add I go through the parameters click search and add and those contacts will become part of this list. Um, it's really important to understand uh, the power of this. I believe that Masterpiece is the only company in the world that provides the ability to create custom lists that are actually dynamic. Let me give you an example here. Let's say that 50 customers match the criteria of, uh, uh, that we've set here of having spent more than $500 uh, to this list. Okay, but and then tomorrow, but let's say tomorrow a customer walks in and spends a thousand dollars. Okay, with the gallery, without you having to do anything to edit this list, there'd now be 51 contacts on the list the next time that you send it out. So, oh, whatever parameter that you put here, this becomes a dynamic filter that will uh, apply itself every time that this list is used. That's how you create contact lists in Masterpiece Manager version 11. Stay tuned uh, for step number two, which is how to create and manage the email templates that you'll be sending out to clients. Step two of creating and managing mass emails in Masterpiece Manager version 11. Uh, uh, step one was creating and managing contact lists. Here we want to create and manage the email templates themselves. That's the body of the emails that are going to be sent out, the content that will be sent out to those people on your contact list. Uh, when you click on templates, you'll get a list of those templates that are already created. If you open one of these up, you'll see the content. Um, that is going to be sent out in those emails. If you want to create a new email template, you, again you click on the add button on the action bar and it'll open up a blank template. Here let's give that uh, template a, a name, a subject, um, we'll call this test subject and keep in mind this subject is what is going to be displayed on the subject line of the email for all the recipients of your email. 
uh, blasts. This uh, area allows you to add dynamic data. Let me show you how that works. If I want to uh, want my emails to be um, personalized and say dear but I want this to go to everybody's first name, I could simply add the first name Okay, and now this email uh, when it's sent out will be uh, personalized to everybody's first name. Dear Jim, dear Kevin, dear Robert, dear Susan. Okay, um, formatting of the email can be done as easily as a Word document. So let's say, for example, we want um, uh, uh, this to be bold, and we want to change the font uh, style or the font size. That can be done as easily as uh, you can in any in any document. Uh, colors and so forth are, are as easy as that. Okay, um, some more com more more comprehensive uh, styling can be done in the form of tables, so that you can control the layout of certain elements like images and pictures and so forth. So let's say we wanted to create a table with three rows and two columns and we wanted the rows to be let's say uh, 300 pixels wide and the columns uh, to be 200 pixels. Okay, we simply say okay and it's going to create that table. You'll be able to hide the lines and so forth and we'll provide a, a tutorial video uh, in the future uh, that will go into the details of, of how to do those kinds of things. Here you can um, uh, take care of, of uh, adding content as you see fit. Let's say you wanted to um, uh, center align all of that um, and in this one you wanted to add an image. To add an image you would simply click on the image option in the program here and if you already have an image uploaded in Masterpiece you could find that through a URL or you could upload one directly uh, from your computer uh, on the fly. So let's say we wanted to just choose a file. We could go grab an image uh, from, from the program and upload it. Okay, It's going to upload that image directly into the spot uh, that you um, uh, that you um, uh, wanted it, but notice that you know, right now the, the the location of this um, uh, the size of the body of this email uh, just is, is doesn't allow us to work very well. So we've added a control here to allow you to maximize the email, okay, and use the full screen. Again, that button is right here, okay. Um, and you wanted to change, let's say you wanted to change the size of that. Uh, image. We just go into image properties and we want to change that image size to 300 uh, pixels wide. It reduces that and you can create okay, whatever email content that you want here. Okay, We'll go ahead and save that okay, and that will be saved. To see a, pol uh, a, a, a finished product, let's go ahead and open up the, the, the uh, previous email that we saw. We're going to open that up in full size mode and see that this email is now ready to be sent using tables, uh, links, images, headers, okay, and so forth. Also notice that at the end of the email you can create add un unsubscribe text. That would be found in the uh, general admin settings under company settings, okay, under the unsubscribe text right here. Okay? That's how you create templates in Masterpiece Manager version 11. This is the third and final video providing an introduction to our mass email marketing tool in Masterpiece Manager version 11. Mass email is uh, located on the left menu of Masterpiece Manager and here you'll see the four components of the program creating uh, contact lists, creating the email templates you're going to send out, scheduling and managing when the email campaigns are going to be sent, and statistics. Uh, uh, step three is uh, scheduling and sending the emails. Click on send box. Here you'll get a list of all the email campaigns that have been sent. This includes the name of the campaign, who it was sent to, what email template was sent, and when uh, the, the campaign was sent. If you want to create a new campaign, to send out, click the plus button on the action bar, select what template you want to send, what contact list you want to send that to, and when you want to send it. You can send now, and keep in mind, send, sending now means that that email will be sent at the top of the hour. So if it's 9.45 in the morning, that email will be sent at 10 o'clock or you can schedule the date and time for an email to be sent. For example, if you wanted to send on Friday at 6 in the morning, you would select Friday 
click the, the clock icon at the bottom and send this out at 6 o'clock in the morning. Okay. Once you've done that, provide a, a name for the campaign and hit save. That will now become part of your, con of, of your campaign list. You'll see that here, test. Okay, and that will be sent at 9 o'clock, I mean, excuse me, at 6 o'clock uh, on Friday. Okay, once the emails are sent, okay, oh, and, and by the way, you see that this is showing a pending status. As soon as this email is sent out, it'll change the status to sent. Okay, and once the campaign is sent, we provide next day email statistics. So if you click on email statistics in the Mass Email Marketing Tool, Okay. Actually, let's let, take a peek at this real quick. We'll see that we have uh, that this particular profile sent out a couple of emails in the month of July. So if we wanted to check the statistics for the month of July to see how well those campaigns did, we would go to email statistics, change the date to July. By the way, statistics work for a 30 day period. Okay. So you enter whatever 30-day period that you want, click refresh, okay, and we'll get statistics for those email campaigns. You'll see that um, uh, 429 emails were opened on the, on, uh, the 7th of July, 474 on the 11th, and eight, uh, 581. Masterpiece allows you to track delivered emails, opened emails, clicked on emails, which means uh, emails that have links in them, which, uh, which e uh, how many times those, those links were clicked on, how many emails actually bounced, were reported as spam, blocked, or had invalid email addresses. And we provide summary information for, for that detail here. Okay, so you can change the date range, okay, uh, to look for any period of time uh, for your email statistics. All right. So that is the third and final step for managing and sending emails out of Masterpiece Manager version 11.